preseason game, uh, how important is it to put some of the youngsters in a position to succeed? And thus, you look at Nazem centering uh, the line that he's got. Yeah, well, I mean, we want everybody to, to succeed for sure, and, and it's not just the young players; it's the older guys too. But you know, for a younger guy, you get to play with an established veteran. You know, you kind of look at the lineup; you get a little extra, extra jump in your step, and uh, you know that usually helps you have a better game. And uh, vice versa, Mitch Marner getting to play with a couple of veterans and Greening and the like. Uh, those guys have said that kid's going to make them better. Yeah, that's right. You know, they've had a chance to, to watch Mitch, who I think set a real strong training camp, and so um, you know they can realize if you get the puck out to them, those two are get big, strong guys usually drive the net. We see our Greeny shoot and score pretty often at the end of last year. They're excited to play with them. As a coach, is there a part of training camp that is more important to you for the development of players? Is the game more important? To cope the... uh, no, I mean, what you want to see is people get better. Uh, you know, there's always little setbacks along the way. You want to see how they respond. So it's it, to me, it's just a marching process day, day, day. You don't make the team in one day. You don't, you know, uh, not make the team in one day. It's just keep going on. And there's different challenges that come up. And I think you're watching to see how they handle some of that adversity. What's, what's a, the ideal number of games for a guy to play that's going to be on the roster? Brooks said he'd play every night if they let me, but I don't know the answer to that. I don't know. I don't know what the ideal number is. I think if you talk to most guys, they'd like like to play every game, but of course you can't do that. You got to mix it around, and then uh, you know some of the older guys sometimes just like to take a tune-up. So I think it's really dependent upon the player, and there's no real ideal number. Tyler Bozak, okay. Yeah, he's fine. Because yeah. he was on the roster yesterday. Yeah. And, yeah, well, you'll probably see that happen a lot where the rosters get mixed up and changed around for different reasons, see different players with different people. When, when you digested the overall, your thoughts on the three days of Aaron Bedford in terms of what you saw from the I players. thought it was good. Yeah, I thought uh, it was extremely competitive and I think fast. I think that's that was the real word that jumped out to me, the speed of the players, uh, the pace of the games. You know, you guys saw the games too. I think the speed really was, was the one word that came out of the camp for me. Plan on splitting your goaltenders tonight? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I got that answer down pat, right? Yeah. <laughs>